हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन दिस इज विनय फ्रॉम श्री सिद्धगंगा पब्लिक स्कूल कुडल सेंटर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ योर इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम सेकंड टर्म टेक्स्ट बुक सो ऑल ऑफ यू ओपन द पेज नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम योर सेकंड टर्म इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ए न्यू लेसन दट इज हु वॉज द थीफ ओके सो हियर द थीफ वॉट इज बीन बाय द थीफ थीफ बी यू नो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स थीफ मीन्स अ पर्सन हु स्टील समथिंग फ्रॉम एनदर पर्सन और place like a car money or expensive things for example one of your friend steal something from you without your permission so we say that he or she is a thief okay now <clears throat> let us go to the next slide that is the lesson number 1 who was the thief okay dear students in this lesson elmu okay is the name of the person elmu was a rich merchant okay one day his money has been stolen so let us find out how the village headman helps him to find the thief okay before begin with this story let us complete the pre activity which is given in the lesson okay look at the pictures and fill in the missing letters to name the pictures so student there are four four pictures is given in the <clears throat> in this lesson so look at those pictures and fill the missing letters and name those pictures correctly okay so the first one so do you know can you guess which picture is it so g and you can write here o l d so g o l d d so it is gold correct no <clears throat> so gold right uh, right now the gold is very expensive metal okay then the second one can you guess this picture can you name the picture the picture name is donkey correct no so fill the missing letters here d o n k e y donkey okay how to pronounce this word donkey so let me write here o l d okay it won't be perfect here okay students then the third picture <clears throat> come to the, the third picture can you think which picture is it can you name this picture okay so the hint is p dash 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 u dash dash so what the letters can fill here then it will be meaningful word so p e r f u m e so it becomes perfume correct no then the fourth picture t e n t so tent t e n t tent so have you completed the activity dear students okay now let me read the lesson then explain it okay here once upon a time in a tiny african village lived a rich merchant called elimu he was kind hearted and always helped the poor he was also a wonderful host and took great care of 
his guests when they came to stay with him elmu processed sorry elmu possessed a lot of gold but instead of keeping the gold in the bank he stored it in a wooden box which he kept under his bed as he stayed all alone he locked the box when he went out anywhere students <clears throat> so once upon a time so many many years ago okay in a tiny african village so what is mean by tiny do you know tiny means very small in size of the area so in the african country a very small village there lived a rich merchant there lived a rich merchant so rich merchant rich means what is mean by rich it means having a lot of money or a property property okay so we say rich okay merchant merchant means a person who buys and sells goods in large quantities so in african village one of the tiny african village there lived a rich merchant so what is his business his business is buying the goods and selling the goods in a large quantities okay so his name was elimu what was his name his name was elimu so how was he he was kind hearted and always helped the poor see dear students he was kind hearted person so whoever the poor persons the poor people if they go to his home to ask the help so he gives them some money or some foods or some like a uh, clothes okay so he was uh, kind hearted and always help the poor so whoever comes to his house to solve their problems so he used to solve their problems by giving them some money little money or some clothes or some food okay then he was also a wonderful host and took great care of his guests when they came to stay with him see dear students here host host means what is mean by host so host means here a person who invites guests to a meal or party so whoever he invites the guests he took great care of his guests when they came to stay with him okay then elimu possessed a lot of gold see i told you before i told you as he was a rich merchant so he possessed he had a lot of gold in his home see possessed means what is mean by possessed the possessed means had something so he had lot of gold he earned lot of gold in his house so where he has kept those gold let me explain see but instead of keeping the gold in the bag he stored it in a wooden box which he kept under his bed see the elmo elmo was a rich merchant he has lot of he had a lot of gold so where he kept see he kept that gold bars instead of keeping the gold in the bank he stored in a wooden box Sto stored so what is mean by stored stored means to put something somewhere to use in later so he puts that gold instead of keeping the in the bank he kept those uh, gold in a wooden box wooden box means the box is made up of wood okay so wooden box the box is kept under the his bed kept under his bed okay have you understood my dear students see elimu he had a lot of gold okay because he earned his richness he was a rich merchant he had a lot of money 
okay he had a lot of gold so that gold he stored in his house in the wooden box that wooden box kept under his bed okay then as he stayed all alone he locked the box when he went out anywhere see in his house the elmu the person only stayed all alone so nobody was there his wife was not there his children were not there okay so elmu only himself was living in the in his house okay whenever he, he wants to go out he locked the wooden box and he will go to, he, he went to outside okay anyway okay next one day elmu locked the door of his house sat on his mule and left for a long journey see dear students one day what happens elmu wanted to go to long journey for the sake of the business okay for his business okay so one day what happened he locked the door first he locked the wooden box then he locked the main door of his house then he sat on his mule what is mean by mule do you know mule means horse like animal the animal it likes it looks like a horse okay it is used for carrying animals so carrying goods or carrying loads okay so in the uh, many years ago the people used the animals as a transportations transportations okay to go from one place to another place okay so he sat on his mule and left for a long journey he went to he went for a long journey okay the same man a man from the village noticed that elmu was away he broke into elmu's house and stole all the gold from the wooden box when elmu returned after two days he noticed that the lock on his door was broken he instantly realized somebody had been inside the house so he went inside he went inside and saw that the lock of the wooden box had also been broken he opened the box and found that all his gold had gone he started howling ho oh, i am finished all my gold has been stolen poor elmo was shattered see dear students <clears throat> here a man when he was leaving his house when the elmo was leaving his house the man the strange man from the same village he noticed he observed that elmo was <clears throat> going away so when the elmo was not at his house the strange man from the that village itself he broke into elmo's house he broke into elmo's house so what is mean by broke so there is a word here broke into b r o k e i n t o so broke into so broke into means entered a building by force okay by hitting something that man he knew that the elmo had a lot of gold in his house so he was waiting for the man he was waiting for the elmo and when the elmo left his house he went for a long journey the man he broke the main door of his house okay he went to in forcefully inside of his house okay then stole all the gold from the wooden box see stole it is a past verb of the steal okay what is the simple present 
what is the v1 of the stove stove v1 is steel okay so the man stole all the gold from the wooden box where he kept under the elimus bed he stole it all the wooden box then after some days or a few week later okay when elimu returned after two days so after two days he finished his uh, business and he returned to his house okay after two day, two days he came to his village so he noticed that the lock on his door was broken see he came to his house the elimu came to uh, elimu came to his house and he noticed he observed the main door of his house was broken the lock was broken so he instantly he instantly instantly means without delaying without waiting immediately realized realized means understood he understood he came to know somebody had been inside the house so somebody had been inside the house he understood immediately when he saw his the main door of his house was or the lock was broken then he went inside elimu went inside what happened in the house so he went inside and saw that the lock of the wooden box had also been broken first he went to his bedroom and he looks under his bed the wooden box he, uh, he had uh, he has kept his wooden box no, under his bed so he saw the wooden box the wooden box is also being broken so he opened the box he opened the broken wooden box and found that all his gold had gone it means that man the thief had stolen the elimus gold correct no then he started howling he started howling what is mean by howling do you know howling h o w l i n g howling means making long loud cry it shows his uh, he is angry howling he started to crying loudly oh my all the gold had been stolen so he was crying with painfully then oh i am finished all my gold has been stolen so poor elimu was shattered the poor elimu was shattered so shatter means extremely upset he became upset because of he lost his he lost all his gold somebody has uh, uh, stolen so somebody has stolen his gold so he shattered then he inquired from his neighbors and several villagers but no one could tell him anything about the theft dejected elmu then approached the village headman he told the headman that he suspected that the thief was from his own village see dear students <clears throat> elimu then what he decided he inquired from his neighbors from his neighbors so inquired means asked somebody for some information he asked so have you seen no uh, we has uh, stolen my gold so have you seen so he uh, asked the people who lives near him who lives near his house okay neighbors means a person who lives next to you or near you so he asks his neighbors neighbors means who the people who lives near his house so he asked them so dear uh, the people uh, have you do you know who stole my gold do you know who went to inside my uh, uh, house so he asked the people okay and several villagers but no one could tell him anything so no one the no people did not reply or did not answer correctly okay 
then dissected elimo dissected so here the dissected means sad or unhappy see first thing is that he had lost his uh, lost his all the gold and when he asked his neighbors the neighbors are is also the his neighbors are also not ready to give the accurate answer so he became sad he became unhappy he could not understand understand what what to do then elmo then approached the village headman then what he decided he decided to meet the headman to ask uh, to for, uh, for the help correct now so here approached what is been by approached approach means ask somebody to do something so he asked the headman to help to find the thief who stole all his gold okay so the headman headman means a leader of a community a leader of a community or a leader of a uh, village so we say headman so first he, me he met the headman and he told all the he told the headman that he suspected that the thief was from his own village so first he met the headman he explained everything so dear headman <clears throat> dear headman somebody has stolen my gold which i kept under my bed so please help me to find the thief and i suspected so he suspected and he says i suspected that the thief was from his own village so here suspect suspected suspected means to have an idea that something is probably true but without having definite proof but he guessed that he guessed that he has an idea that the thief is from his own village so but he doesn't know who is that thief who stolen who has stolen his gold but he doesn't know he has because he did not have definite proof to show he is a thief she is a thief okay but he suspected okay then the headman thought for a while and then assumed elmo that he would catch the thief and help him to get his gold back see dear students the headman when he explained when the elmo when elmo explained all the what is that uh, incident before the headman then headman he thought for a while he thought for some times he thought for a while and then assumed then he assumed assumed means a s s u r e d assumed means the headman assumed him for his support to catch the thief okay then elimon that he would catch the thief and help him to get his gold back then the headman reached elimus village and pitched a tent there inside the tent he tied a donkey when no one was watching he spread the donkey's tail with a bottle of perfume then he called all the villagers and declared someone has stolen elimus gold i suspect that the thief is from this village one by one all of you will enter the tent and touch the donkey's tail when the thief touches the donkey he will bray say dear students here <coughs> finally the headman decided to catch the thief 
so he had some plan okay he knew that how to catch the thief okay he had some uh, he had a secret then what he did the headman he reached elimus village he went to elimus village and pitched a tent there and pitched a tent there so pitched what is mean by pitched pitch means set up a tent for a short time so he puts on a tent so near his house okay then inside the tent he tied a donkey see inside the tent what what did he do he tied a donkey to the pole then when no one was watching he spread the donkey's tail with a bottle of perfume see first he set up a tent in the elmos village then he tied a donkey inside the tent then when no one was watching him when no one was watching the headman at the time he sprayed a bottle of perfume to the donkey's tail okay he sprayed a bottle of perfume to the donkey's tail so spray means what is mean by spray do you know spray means very small drops of a liquid that are sent through the air so uh, have you used the perfume bottle when you spray on your body it sprinkles with a tiny drops on your skin correct no so it sprays donkey tail with a bottle of perfume so perfume p e r f u m e what is mean by perfume perfume means a liquid often made from flowers okay that you put on your skin to make yourself smell nice correct no so there are so many brands are there in the market perfume home market like a fog fog is there good morning is there ha huh? some like this uh, some other brands are there so these are brands are perfume it is uh, this perfume we use to put on our skin to make ourselves smell nicely correct no then he called all the villagers and declared so he sprayed a bottle of perfume to the donkey's tail and he came out of his uh, out of the uh, tent and he called all the villagers who live in the elmus village he called all the villagers and declared and he said clearly so declared declared means said something clear he said clear what is said see someone has stolen elmus gold i suspect that the thief is from this village so one by one all of you will enter the tent and touch the donkey's tail when the thief touches the donkey he will break see students he called all the villagers and he announced what is that dear people someone has stolen elmus gold okay then i suspect that i know that but i am guessing okay i am guessing that the thief is from this village itself okay not uh, not from the another village okay so what you do you one by one enter the tent enter the inside of the tent okay i touch the donkey's tail okay so donkey's tail when the thief touches the donkey he will bray see people you go inside the tent and touch the donkey's tail so if the thief if the thief touches the donkey's tail then donkey will bray bray means it is a unpleasant sound so uh, here bray b r a y bray means here when a donkey brays it makes a loud unpleasant sound the sound of a donkey okay we say bray okay how does the donkey what is the sound of the donkey the donkey sound is bray okay then he told all the people of the elmus village the villagers did just as they were told all of them 
went inside the tent but the donkey did not bray even once the villagers assumed that the thief must be from some other village but the headman was not satisfied he made all the villagers stand in a row and started smelling each one's palms suddenly he caught hold of a man after smelling his palms and said you are the thief see dear students <clears throat> so all the villagers the people of the villagers they did just as the as the headman told so one by one went uh, inside the tent and touched the donkey's tail and came out of the uh, tent and stayed for a while but all of them went inside the tent and but the donkey did not bray even once okay then the villagers assumed so a s s u m e d a s s u m e d what is mean by assume means thought that something was true but without having proof of it so they thought that they thought that the incident was true but without having the proof of it okay that the thief must villagers sorry be from some other village see when all the people touched the donkey stayed but the donkey did not bray so the people of the villagers who touched the donkey stayed they thought that oh we are not a in our village nobody uh, no one the thief is uh, the thief is not from our village so the thief is, they thought that the thief is from the another village so they assumed okay then but the headman was not satisfied he was dissatisfied of his work why means the all the people of the village they touched the donkey's tail but the donkey did not bray correct no it means the thief was not caught so he was the headman was not satisfied he was dissatisfied he made all the villagers stand in a row and started smelling each one's palms suddenly he caught hold of a man after smelling his palms and said you are the thief so when the thief was not caught what he did what the headman did he made all the people villagers stand in a row and he uh, he told he asked the villagers to stand in a line next to each other he made the people stand in a line next to each other okay then one by one one by one he takes the person's palm and he smelt okay so suddenly he caught hold of a man after smelling his palms and said so one of the those villagers he smelt the palm and suddenly he said that you are the thief do you dear, dear students do you think how does he guess he was a thief okay then the man appeared nervous but soon recovered and said no i am not a thief the donkey did not bray when i touched his tail see when the headman caught uh, caught that person he argued that first he becomes nervous when he was caught by the headman when he was caught by the headman he becomes nervous so nervous means here afraid or anxious about something here so he afraid he became anxious then soon he recovered then he becomes to he becomes or he turned to a normal state then he said no i'm not a thief i touched the donkey's tail but the donkey did not bray how do you consider me as a thief he said then let me switch on the next slide then 
the headman said angrily you are lying you did not even touch his tail see dear students in the page number 8 the headman said in angrily okay so here you are lying so you are lying lying means he says that headman knows he is not true okay so you did not even touch his tail i did touch his tail the man insisted see the the man the thief said firmly that uh, something was true yes i touched that uh, i i did touch the donkey tail but the donkey did not uh, bray so the thief insisted then the donkey tail was sprayed with perfume had you touched it you had would have smelled of the perfume said the headman say dear students then he told he explained to the man what he explained say ma look <clears throat> i have sprayed a bottle of perfume to the donkey's tail okay so if you had touched the donkey's tail your hands would have smelt but now i am smelling your palms but your hands are not smelling with the perfume so it means you did not touch the donkey's tail but you are saying that i uh, i uh, touched the donkey's tail okay if you had touched touch the donkey's tail your hands would have smelt with a perfume so said the headman so everyone seemed confused so other the villagers everyone seemed confused confused so confused means they unable to think clearly or understanding what was happening there they could not understand so the headman told all the villagers smell your own palms and then smell he this man's palms see then the headman he asked all the villagers who touched the donkey's tail so all of you uh, smell your own palms okay then smell his uh, this man's palms then all of you what what they did everyone smelled their own palms and realized they smelled of the perfume so all the people they smelled their own palms so palm what is mean by palm p a l m s do you know palms means the inner surface of the hand between the wrist and the fingers we say palms so all the villagers smelled their palms then they realized they understood they smelled of the perfume okay who had touched the donkey's tail then but when they smelled that young man's palms they had no fragrance so when the people smelled the that man's palm there was no fragrance on his palm so fragrance fragrance means a pleasant smell okay a pleasant smell so every perfume bottle has a uh, what is that pleasant smell okay then the thief realized that he had been caught and confessed his crime elimu got back all his gold delighted elimu then treated the headman and the entire village to a generous feast see dear students my dear students the thief realized he understood he came to know that he had been caught by the headman and confessed his crime confessed what is meant by confessed he agreed he agreed is he has done his mistake he has done his crime then elmo got back all his gold then the thief he gave all the gold back to the 
Elemu. So Elemu, he got back all his gold and delighted. Delighted. So what is mean by delighted? Do you know? Delighted means very pleased. Very pleased or a delighted smile. He becomes happy. The Elemu becomes happy. Why means? Because he got back all his gold. Then he treated the headman and the entire villagers, the people, entire people of the villagers to a generous feast. Generous feast. Feast means, do you know, a large or special meal, especially for a lot of people. See, he gave a generous feast to all the entire the village and the headman. Why means? The headman and the villagers help. Help him help him to get back his all the gold so he gave a large and special meal to the everyone who lives in his village so the message of this story is honesty is the best policy so this story was written by Sri, Har Sri Krishna Kumar Trivedi Okay, the message of the story is honesty is the best policy. Policy. Okay, so the proverb honesty is the best policy means that we have to be honest and true in life, even in bad situations. This proverb is said by the famous person Benjamin Franklin. He regarded honesty as the best tool for a successful life honesty is the backbone of the successful relationships those who tell lies to their near and dear ones face bad situations in life in their life so dear students be honest person in your society okay i hope you have understood the story who was a thief and we will meet in the next class there we will discuss question answers and grammar part of this lesson okay okay friends i hope you have understood this story thank you thank you everyone